Hello everyone, this is Karen Brazo from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. Today I'm just actually uh, starting on a painting um, for a customer. I was given some favorite colors and um, that's what I'm going to use to make this painting. Um, I'm going to, be going to be using some, some house paints that I have left over from different jobs. So, I'm going to start by doing the base and the base for, uh, for the painting. The painting I'm going to be doing is actually a 24 by 30. It's going to be a pour. So, I'm actually going to take this as house paint. And I always keep some white house paint available at all times that is strained. So this has been strained. I'm actually going to make two cups of that just in case I need more. And I actually don't want that to be white. I'd like it to have a little bit of a, of a tint, like a little bit of a beige there would be nice, or a little bit more on a cream side. So I have some more house paint here left over, and this one is actually called Sea Spray. So I'm actually going to add a bit of Sea Spray to this white paint. It should give it a nice tint, a little off-white tint there. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, that's quite nice. Not quite white, just a little, little tinted on the cream side, which is really nice. It's a little bit thick, so I'm going to have to water that down a little bit. So I'm going to use some Wagner Paint Easy, which is a latex paint conditioner. Sometimes I use Floetrol, but Floetrol's a little expensive, and I uh, only use it for really certain projects. And I also find that the Floetrol actually helps give cells for some reason, so I, I really don't want cells in this painting as much. So I'm going to use this conditioner instead. And you can get this one, this paint easy. Uh, you can actually get it at most hardware stores. Okay, so this paint should be ready. Oops. Put that aside. Then I would like to use a brown. So I have some brown house paint here. This one is actually just a Benjamin Moore house paint. So there's my brown. I'm going to add a little bit of conditioner to that as well. Perfect. Now the color I'm going to use is the Naples Yellow, and this is from Artist Loft. It's an academic level one acrylic paint, and you can get this at, um, I get mine at uh, Michael's. I'm just going to squeeze some out of the tube. So I had about half a tube left, so that's 
what I'm going to use. So it's about 60 milliliters in here. So about two ounces. I'm going to add a little bit of conditioner to that as well. going to add a little bit of faux glaze to this as well give it a little bit of a luster and also to make the paint go further add a little bit of water to that as well So I've kind of decided to um, mix my paints before a, a painting. I often get people asking me, you know, what I used and how I mixed my paint. And so I think um, just showing you how I'm mixing my paint ahead of time will really help for those of you who are just getting started. I know I really liked looking at some videos that kind of, you know, give me an idea of what to mix as well and how to mix biggest thing I think is when you're first starting with pores is you know you're wondering is it thick enough is it too thin but as you um, as you work with this you you really get the hang of what the consistency should be and it doesn't take very long to, to figure that one out so but hopefully this helps so again here I've got a half a tube as well Add some full glaze to that, just like that. A little bit of conditioner. You really have to mix that full glaze in. Really well. Perfect. A tiny bit of water and you should be good. So this is red ochre. Perfect. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of gold in this one as well. Shake that up. So I'm using the uh, Flow Acrylic from Artist Loft, and you can get this at uh, Michael's as well. I don't want a whole lot of gold, but and this one I'm just going to mix with a bit of water. Add a little bit of conditioner to that too. It's not fanning down very well. There we go. That did the trick. Okay, so there's my gold. Perfect. So I should have all my colors now. Put this full glaze away. Put everything else away. Okay, so we have the gold, 
We have the raw umber. We have the Naples yellow and the red ochre. And we have our white with a tiny little bit of cream in there just to give it a little bit of a tint. Today I'm going to be using a canvas that I've already used before. I didn't like the artwork, so I just scraped it off as soon as I could. And we're just going to reuse this, recycle it. Okay, perfect. So let me see if I can bring this up a little bit, see a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring some of this on the edges. Going to do some dirty cup pours here. I'll probably do three. I'm going to put a bit of silicone in here as well. I think I'd like to get a few, few cells happening in there. Okay. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that whitish cream. gloves here. This looks very much like fall, these colors. It's great. Okay, let's start pouring. Flipping that around.
really liking that gold. Really cool. Okay. Don't want to get rid of too much of my negative white space here. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna pour some more white in this corner here. Good. I think I'm going to do a little bit of uh, air in here as well. I'm just going to blow a little bit of air with my blower, my compressor, I should say. needed in this corner here. Really important to make sure that you get all your corners. Kind of like that, but I would like some more white. This is good. Not a bad look there. And I actually don't think I'm going to blow with this one, put any air on there. I think I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any bubbles. Okay, I'm just going to play around a little bit in here. I kind of like having these little wispy things here going through.
maybe a little bit. Then really pull these right through any white space that you have. I just find it really adds interest. Okay, this is quite nice, nice and simple. Okay, so now you want to take a look at the edges to make sure that the edges are all done. I'm going to grab a bit of a paintbrush here and I'm just going to go around and make sure my edges are all done. Looks like I've got everything covered here. I think I'm going to uh, add a few more of these here. Okay, I think this is good. I'm just going to use the gun a little here and see if I can, the heat gun, see so if I can bring out a few more cells maybe.
process is quite nice. I'm kind of happy with that. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to bring that in just a little bit. Let's see. I'll take a picture of this later when it's really dry and on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. Okay, so that turned out really nice and it's very fitting for the temperature out there. It's kind of like fall out there now, so, well it is fall. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks really great. Well, thank you for watching.